Yo, what's going on guys? It's Ryan again. Today we're working on a pair of Olympic Sixes. They need a cleaning, a full repaint, and we're gonna try and see if we can unyellow the soles. We gotta take the laces out and see what's going on inside. We can put the laces to the side for now, and I'll show you how to get them back to white. The insides were dirtier than I was expecting, and there was just so much hair inside too. As you can imagine, we're gonna use the laundry method. They probably never got a deep cleaning. Using our scissors, we can cut right through this. The bottoms of the insoles are definitely going to be the same, so I'm just going to scratch it off as well. And this is what we ended up with. The cleaning process is really straightforward. Soap and water for the uppers, and OxyClean for the mesh. I'm using a brass brush to clean the rubber areas. So this is when I realized that somebody repainted the front caps. This region isn't meant to be painted on. Eventually the paint's gonna crack or peel off. In goes our shoe trees. While the shoes are washing and drying, it's going to hold on to the new shape. You should always try to protect the delicate areas on your shoes. So in this case, it's that piece on the back. So I'm going to put this towel over it and it's going in the laundry bag just like this. Cold cycle, 15 to 30 minutes. These are going to air dry outside. You can also put them in the sun, but you have to cover up the midsoles. We don't want to deal with any separation on the sixes. There's usually white paint under the soles, so when it separates, you have to try to find some way to recreate it. So make sure the midsoles are covered up, and you leave the insides open. If the laces still have stains on them, you can actually soak them in White Revive, and then I just leave them in the sun. You rinse them out, and you let them dry. There are creases on the shoes, and they're mainly on the ankle area. They're not going to go away completely in most cases. And for this we need a wet towel, an iron with your steam setting on, and from the inside we're pushing outwards, and ironing against the crease. These midsoles need to be completely repainted, and my preferred method is to use a paint stripper called Dad's Easy Spray. I'm going to apply around 3 coats and wait around 3 to 5 minutes in between each coat. And then using a sponge, we can just wipe it off. You might have to repeat this a couple of times, but try to avoid scrubbing. After all the heavy lifting is done, I'm using alcohol and acetone to remove any remaining paint. The previous owner also repainted the upper. They didn't use a finisher, so the paint's a little tinted. Luckily, it's easier to remove, but you should always protect your work. While we're on the topic, we might as well clean the fronts as well. It takes a little bit of effort, but it comes off with a sponge. The midsoles are cleaned to our best advantage. Now let's lay down the white paint. The uppers could use some fresh paint as well, and I'm going to paint on one to two light coats. The blue uppers were in good condition, so I decided not to paint it. Remember to do light coats and use your heat gun. I 
I noticed there was a pretty deep scratch on the back. So to fill it in, we can just use leather filler, let it dry, and then sand it down. I recommend freehanding this midsole. The color I'm using is called navy blue. If you keep your paintbrush a little damp, it gives you more flexibility. And then we're just going to slowly work our way to the line. The angle was pretty crazy so I had to do it off cam, but it's very straightforward. The finisher we're using is Krylon Matte Finisher. Two light coats is all you need. You might notice on the Jordan 6s that the heel area is what cracks the easiest, so make sure you go light on the finisher. I'm gonna let this fully air dry outside, and then I'll clean up all the spills afterwards. The last major step in this restoration is to try and unyellow the soles, and I'm also doing this on the front part. I'm using Salon Care 50, and saran wrap. These shoes are extremely worn down as you can tell, so at some point they're gonna hit a ceiling. I'm aiming for around 40 hours on this. We have some minor steps left. Every time you do repaints, you should poke out the thread holes. It's going to make your work look more factory. There was minor separation on the shoe. Luckily it's not in a problematic area and I'm using Barge Super Stick. For these, we can just clean the area, apply some on on a Q-tip, peel off the tape, let it dry for around 10 minutes or so, heat activate it, and then just clamp it down. I have all my equipment listed down below. If you want a polish to look on your shoe, you should go with Tire Shine. And finally, we can lace them up. And that's all there is to this restoration. Thank you guys so much if you made it this far. And please be sure to drop a like down below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.